you figured, you know, once a poison steel type was introduced, like how how would that go about? And I think River Room kind of represents, yeah, that looks just that, that looks about right. And um, Team Star really figured it out, didn't they? Poison Steel is a great type in many ways. While it has theoretical issues, uh, it still has a lot of resistances. Uh, though, of course, you gotta watch out for the fires, you gotta watch out for ground. Uh, but everything else, it, it either resists or takes neutrally. And its stats kind of allows it to take those hits. Its defenses are basically, or its HP is 80, defense is 90, and special defense is 67. So maybe not the strongest split diversion, though it is, a, I would say, a fair bulk. Uh, it is really strong at 119, and this special attack is definitely not usable at 54. It has a very fair speed here at 90, so it is definitely a physical attacker that can hit you fast and can hit you really hard if you allow it to, and it has a bulk to back that up. As the Rebel Room have two good abilities, though I think the other one is definitely better over the other. Overcoat will help you record with of course the sleep powders and whatnot. I mean, it's a fair move. Everybody likes it, but that's not why I use it. Filter. If anybody remember Mega Aggron, this guy can soak resisted hits. And I think that works even better if you capitalize on Terraform, which is what I'm going to cover in this video. But overall, Filter allows you to take hits better, a 25 reduction on super effective hits. This means, for example, that Earthquake that was going to ruin you, it will probably still do that, but it is less likely to take you out, theoretically. And of course, the fire move does approximately one and a five times more instead of uh, double damage so it's a very good ability for this type of type combination and as stated with only two real weaknesses i think this is a very patchable amount to use now before moving forward i kind of just want to mention don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this um a lot of people are that watch me aren't subscribed so take the chance to do just so when it comes to these level up moves, I actually get shift gear, which I think is super important. Boost yourself or your attack by one, your speed by two. Magical. It also gets magnetized, pretty much negating its ground weaknesses, which I think is super important. When it comes to its offensive moves, it gets a move called spin out, which is a signature move that lowers your speed by two. Never even consider that move, in my honest opinion. I, I would like this move in contrast with Gyro Ball, but as this book is so fast, Going minus two really won't help it. I definitely see a spin out better on like a monster like, such as Steelix, for example. But that said, it gets access to Iron Head, which I think is a superior choice, and gets Gun Shot and Poison Jab, which either way you go, both are fine. You also get Assurance as a filler move. But overall, what this Pokemon lacks is moves to hit Steel types. Poison and Steel is, I would say, spreadingly really good. You only kind of struggle versus. Uh, the water water poison types and you know the steel types but that said not have a fire move really damages pokemon's viability on the egg moves it really doesn't get much more than its utility however you do get toxic which you get with magnet rise could be very annoying uh, you also get haste to pretty much negate and it's out of status decrease an opponent self-destruct if you want to just get out um, which, which seems likely to be on a you know, motorcycle and whatnot. And you do get potting shot, which I think with the 90 base speed, that's a really good utility. More so if you know you have matchups you can't beat and you don't want to capitalize on Dread License, then potting shot will allow you to, well, reposition yourself and, you know, ruin your opponent a little bit. And the TM list isn't necessarily doing Rever Rooms any favors either, and it's definitely annoying as it could have been great. Uh, it gets a fire move and overheat, unfortunately with its low 60 base-ish special attack, that won't work, uh, it sadly won't. Uh, it do get access to something like Bull though, so it's not completely negated by steel type opposing steel types unless they're floating like Corviknight. Basically if Corviknight comes in, that's it, like, <laughs> you're, ain't happening. Other than that, it do get something like Heavy Slam, but it's definitely a bit on the lighter side to capitalize on it, so Iron Head will always be the better option. And it gets utilities and Toxic Spikes, which I think could work great together with Parting Shot. But overall, yeah, not the best type of move pulls here, which is allowing this Pokemon to maybe consider her as a license. So before we actually go into potential sets and how to use this Pokemon, I do want to cover Terrestrialize, and this is something that's been mentioned. I haven't covered it because I'm kind of thinking Smogon will ban it, but I also realize until then it has a reason to be talked about. So consider the filter. Going for Terrestrialize and Fire will definitely allow this Pokemon to not be walled by you know Steel types. I think that together with Shift Gear and using Iron Head and Gunshot or Poison Jab will be a 
perfect combination. You could go for Magnet Rise also, but that's pretty much what I negate not using Iron Head. Pretty much go for a Celestial type of move pool. Um, but I think with um, Threat Lights into a Fire type together with Filter that you will be able to soak a few hits, combine it with a potential Sugarberry, and this guy should be fine. Another aspect to consider is actually going for Threat Lights form just Steel. Take away your poison, double down the damage on Steel. I think Shift Gear together with Iron Head covers the most. And I think combining with stuff like Mana Rise, you should theoretically be fine. Steel type is an incredible defensive type in, and I think if you're only gonna watch out for fire and well ground anyway, you, you will be incredibly fine with filter. So those are two terrestrialized form I think is gonna be viable in this Pokemon. I don't believe it is worth considering anything else because steel is such a great type in, and if you can double down on damage or terrestrialize or something to really hurt other steel type, then you should theoretically be fine. Now to the mixture. The thing is here, I see two potential sets, but I always will say that you want to have magnetized in majorities of this Pokemon's utility. You want to negate whatever they could do to you, basically. If they just can hurt you by fire, that means you can run something like Akaberry and be very fine versus a lot of situations. Now you will face steel types that will wall you, so a teammate such as Magneton might actually be crucial for this type of environment, so definitely keep that in mind. But also, if you don't want to sterilize yourself with the fire type, this should be something to keep in mind. I think if steel types are dealt with, then there's very few mods that actually want to deal with the river room head on. And I think its offensive set with Shifker and its dual stab will be fine in the majority of the situation. And um, I could say defensive set work too, something with potting shot. I still think you should be speedy, um, but I think. Body shot, Soxy Spike, even Steel Beam to make sure you die if you don't want to go for self-destruct. And basically spin out or something like that hurts really badly could be great to use. But I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to have some type of utility. Maybe Choice Scarf it and just, you know, wreck havoc where it, where it works. But I think this Pokemon actually benefits really well by actually not being forced to be locked into a Choice item as it has the utility to be, well, really annoying and very fast. So, Rebel Room, I think, is going to be a great Pokemon. Like I said, it has issues that uh, I really wish was solved. I thought it was its special moves on the Team Star, the Torque move, that could be in theory, fire, uh, fighting, and something more. Um, I was thinking it was a damn shame it wasn't part of its utility. I was sure it was there, because if it were, it would have been a phenomenal one. As it stands, it's not bad, but it has issues, and they are mostly solved by a threat license. So with that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode, and make sure to write down below which one you want to see in a future video. And until then, take care one. Right. Bye.